Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to pass the contact attributes from Amazon Connect to the agent console and we will use view for that. Okay, so before moving on, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All United 2% are subscribing uh, after viewing the channel. And uh, if you are coming from the Google search, do consider giving a thanks if you find this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so moving on, right? So first of all, what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to pass the information which we have over here. Okay. So first of all, let's do basic thing. Uh, let's uh, create a view where where we will show that uh, uh, means uh, that will be shown to the agent side. Okay. Okay. So what we will do is we will name is display contact something like that any name you can give contact okay now from the templates uh, we can use review and submit okay and from here we will delete all this crap which we don't required and from here also we will delete items right so i don't require one two three four okay so now we have this we will put this or let it be outside it doesn't matter and this will be user details something like that okay so what we will do over here so we will select the section attribute right now the challenge with the view is we can't pass only the variable so far i'm not able to find the json uh, maybe that's a limitation from my side whatever the document they have given is all crap so what i will do is i will just mark this whole item as a dynamic so whatever the values are there right it is it means are dynamic and we can pass the value from json okay so what we'll do is we will publish this one okay now to show a view into a amazon uh, what do you say to a user or to agent sorry uh, we have to do in two steps okay first step is we have to create a view okay so we will create a view something like show view okay so what will happen is uh, whenever agent accept the call we show this page okay so to show a this view we require a one contact flow okay uh, so i will do over here show view over here and pass this and we select our display okay uh, we set the timeout to five minutes okay so that it can stay over there okay over here uh, i have already written the json so this is a json so items if you have more than one attribute to display you can add comma over here uh, sorry comma over here and add those otherwise just copy this i um, also pasted this thing into the description so that you can use or copy this one directly okay so what we are doing is over here we are telling uh, the item the one item that we have in that section to have level as uh, pan and the value as my name rajiv okay we we'll click save over here and we will just disconnect the call not the call uh, disconnect the view after the five minutes okay so we'll click do that and we we'll click save and we'll click publish did it publish okay now it is published now we will go back to our contact attributes uh, sorry uh, our uh, uh, call flow which we were developing right so over here what we have to do is we have to invoke that uh, uh, what do you say the view before transferring the call to agent so what we will do is we will call set event and we will disconnect over here disconnect over here and connect this one to here over here i uh, let it be default flow for agent ui okay and over here uh, we will select our view that we created show view right and click save and that's it i think yeah so what we'll do is oh yeah before that <laughs> i almost forgot so whenever you're logging so if you're logging to admin or from uh, any of the user profile right uh, go to their security profiles right so i will be logged in as admin 
so i will be going to the admin security profiles and go to the channels and the flow over here and make sure that i have access to view okay so view access is required at least the man, uh, minimum mandatory okay so now what i will do i will just click over here and it should uh, uh logged in over there in parallel what we will do is we will start our local host and uh, we will go to local host test everything is started and this is marked as available so let's see if it works uh, if there is issue we will try to resolve it okay so i click over here it will automatically transfer the call to uh, agent there is no logic over there and i should get a call over here i got a call so once i select accept i should have a view over here and yeah as you can see over here we are able to display the details over here right uh, so let's uh, so this is a hard coded value that we have passed now what we will see is how to pass the dynamic value okay so let me end the chat close contact over there okay so for to pass the dynamic value right uh, let it be label as username okay and uh, what we will do is uh, we will go to our flow and in the flow uh, where we have pci where is the pci here over here uh, let's create a variable okay so set contact variable set contact attribute okay and over here we will create our variable okay so with that will be passed so let's say the variable will be oops not your system it's a user defined it will be user name that is the name that i'm passing so it will be rajiv kumar from read the manual okay so click save and so if you see over here we are not passing the variable to directly to view okay so what we have to do is we have to go to the show view and over there uh, the json that we have written is need to be pa uh, or uh, need to be show as a uh, attribute value over there okay so what we have we have done is in the contact or in the contact center right so the variable that we declare remains stays throughout the journey so we don't have to pass it or anywhere just click publish over here once you have that variable and now what we'll do is we will go back to our flows and go to the show view which is showing the view to agent right so over here and once you click over here so over here we will modify this part to the way we have the variables name right so that's the attributes i will give over there and let's make it username something like that okay uh, so this is where we are passing the value as dynamically and click save click publish let's make another test call let's see is it close yeah okay so now the call is going over there now once agent accept the call over here it should display the name as rajiv rtm something what else we configured yeah so we configured like this right so this is uh, now getting displayed. So this is how uh, we can configure a view in Amazon Connect and pass the values which we have captured or mentioned or got it from uh, Amazon Connect uh, throughout the journey and pass it to the agent side and use the view to display over here. Hopefully you find this video useful. Thank you. Have a nice day.